Hello and welcome to Trick IQ. The greatest test ever is now in its third season. And with the World Cup on, the prizes have to be bigger and better than ever before. So what's at stake for the winners this time? An all expenses paid trip to the Mecca of cricket to watch the Ashes Test match. And for the second place winner, we have a trip for two to the Indian Premier League finals. So let's see the five enthusiastic participants who are here with us to take that first step towards Lords. So let's play Freak IQ Season 3, powered by Gioni. The first participant is Madhu Krishna Tipindani, who joins us from Hyderabad. Hello, Madhu. Hey. Madhu is working in Hyderabad with UNESCO. So, Madhu, what's your prediction for this year's World Cup? Uh, I go with uh, uh, either uh, South Africa or New Zealand. Okay, going for South Africa and New Zealand. Maybe a new name will be carved on the World Cup trophy this time. Next, we have Madhu Krishnan Ramakrishnan from Bangalore, whose favorite hobby is to make people's lives miserable by putting crazy cricket puzzles on Facebook. Madhu Krishnan, confident of doing well here? Yes, I think so. I think so. I should be able to. Yep. And your favorite team seems to be doing quite well in today's match. Not too bad today, yes. <laughs> All the best, Madhu. And next, we have Srinath, who's joining us from Chennai, but he's a pass out from FMS. Srinath, welcome to Trick IQ. Thank you. Hello. Srinath had a whopping score of 3356 in the first power play. Uh, Srinath, confident of replicating your success here in this hangout? I hope so, man. All the best, Srinath. And next, we have Pradeep, who is joining us all the way from the US. This is the wonder of this hangout format. People from all over the world come together in this wonderful battle. Pradeep, welcome to Trick IQ. Thank you. So, Pradeep, uh, can you tell me who's your favorite cricket player? Sachin. Sachin, of course. And last but not the least, we have a person who works in the commissioner's office in Bangalore. We have Ravi, who joins us. Yeah, Hello, hi. Ravi. Hi, hi, guys. Ravi, welcome to Freak IQ. All the best. So, without hi. further ado, we'll start the first round. And All before right. that, some house rules for you. So, mobile phones of participants should be on silent mode. And, of course, all participants are responsible for their own internet connection. Questions will not be repeated in case the connection goes off in the middle. And of course, as you know, quizzing is an honest battle. So participants found to be using unfair means would be disqualified. No Googling, no prompting. I trust all of you as honest cricket fans to do your best. And of course, you always should do the hangout from a noise-free environment. Now let's move on to the first round, which is called power play. Let's have a little look at the rules. So 10 questions, two per participant. Questions would be general questions on cricket. Questions do not pass. 10 points per correct answer. You can take a power play before answering the question. So if you are very confident of an answer, you can say that I want to take a power play. And if you get it correct on a power play, you'll get plus 20. And if you get it wrong, you'll get minus 10. And you'll get only 10 seconds per question. And your 10 seconds will start after I have finished asking the question. So, clear with the rules? Sure. Um, right, yes. so we'll start off with Madhu Krishna Tipindani from Hyderabad. And your first question coming up now. Which four cricketers played together for the first and only time in a test match at Birmingham in 1967? Should be an easy one. Question for Madhu. Mm. Yeah. Your time's up, Madhu. Okay. Do you need an answer now? Yeah, I, I don't get it, actually. Okay, no points on this one. This is, of course, the spin quartet of Vedi, Venkat, Prasanna, and Chandrasekhar, who played together for the first and only time at Edgbaston in 1967. And that was a test match, of course, which India lost. Your next question, Madhu, coming up now. What famous incident from the 2013-14 season is Richard Hadley referring to as thus? Listen carefully. I only hope that the bowler takes a few minutes to reflect on his stupidity. This was a brain explosion of the highest order. It was a deliberate attempt to hit, injure, hurt, and maim his opponent. So what famous incident is Richard Hadley talking about? Question for Madhu. Um, uh, famous incident covered in the media 
televised also times up madhu uh, don't get any points for this one would you like to hazard a guess okay. uh no no uh, uh, no answer something from madhu actually, i i, I forgot you scored zero points in the first round of trick iq to let you out of your misery the answer is this is the famous piers morgan and betley incident where betley bowled a series of bouncers to piers morgan during the nashus test match right. so next we'll move on to the stats guru mr madhusudan from bangalore and madhu your first question coming up now listen carefully yeah where was the following point system used sometime in the 2013 14 cricket season test match win 6 points test match draw 2 points odi win 2 points odi tie 1 point t20 win 2 points t20 tie 1 point your time started madhu yeah. has to be the icc icc ranking system maybe not icc rankings madhu this was the women's ashes so oh. that was played between england and australia which england won where this interesting point system was used okay. one expression madhu coming up now should be an easy one what in the world of cricket or indian cricket rather are ganga din and ganga ram ganga din and ganga ram ganga din you can take a guess i think uh, the names give out which region it comes from your times up madhu the answer is these are the two rollers used at the eden gardens cricket stadium the heavy and the light roller are known as ganga din and ganga ram that set uh, so far no points scored on trick iq so far let's see if shrinath our top topper from the power play can open his account shrinath your first question who won the wisden Australia Cricketer of the Year in the year of its inception in 1998. Who was the first Wisden Australia Cricketer of the Year? In 1998, right? Yeah, 1998. Okay. Uh, I'll go with Shane Warne. Not Shane Warne. This was an interesting answer. This is the famous women's cricketer Belinda Clark. Hmm. Belinda Clark, who made quite an impact in the women's cricket World Cup, also scoring a double century. Tough okay. questions here, but that is what Trick IQ is all about. Your next question, com question coming up, Srinath. Two thousand three, two thousand four, England A. Two thousand four, two thousand five, Bangladesh. Two thousand five, two thousand six, Zimbabwe Cricket Union Presidents Eleven. Two thousand six, two thousand seven, Sri Lanka A. Two thousand seven, two thousand eight, England Lions. What list am I talking about? Uh, I'll take a power play on this. Take your power play, Shrinath. Going for plus twenty. And go with the uh, overseas teams playing uh, in the Dhuli Trophy. Brilliant, fantastic answer there from Shrinath. Opening your account with plus twenty. These are of course the guest teams in the Dhuli Trophy. Well done, Shrinath. Now we'll move on to Pradeep, who joins us all the way from USA. Pradeep, your question coming up now. Listen to this carefully. Thank you. Which Indian? is describing her ambition to become the world's first women's commentator thus it was a wish on my part to do something as a tribute to the memory of my great father i thought if he was first in something then i should also be first in something related to cricket who is describing her ambition thus of course her father was very famous in indian cricket is it is a guha no that's not the right answer this is the daughter of ck naidu chandra naidu okay interesting question there next question pradeep let's see if you can score 10 or maybe even 20 in this question which cricketer has a dubious distinction of getting dismissed in the most different ways in international cricket eight out of a possible 11 just to give you a hint he was out handling the ball versus australia and obstructing the field versus sri lanka which cricketer am i talking about this is is it mohinder amarnath 
Mohim the Ramanath is a perfect answer. Well done, Pradeep. You open your account with 10 points. Congratulations. And now we'll move on to our last participant from the Commissioner's Office in Bangalore, Mr. Ravi. Yes. Ravi, your first question. Who was the first captain, male or female, to lift a Cricket World Cup? First person to lift a Cricket World Cup. Ravi, your time started. Uh, two seconds. Time's up. I'm moving on to now. Sobers. Not Sobers, of course. Sobers never played a Cricket World Cup. He was in the squad for West Indies in the 1975 Cricket World Cup, but then had to drop off. This is the Australian or the England women's cricketer, Rachel Hayhoe Flint. The Women's Cricket World Cup was played for the first time in 1973 before their male counterparts. Your next question, Ravi, coming up now. Yeah. Ray McCauley is a former Mr. Africa who also took part in the Mr. Universe competition in 1974, finishing third. He later turned into a pastor and starred as himself in a 2008 movie made on a controversial cricketer. Name this cricketer. Name the cricketer in whose about whose movie he starred. Ray McCauley, associated with this famous cricketer, passing you. No answers there coming up from Ravi. This is, of course, Hansi Kronje. Hansi Kronje confessed about his match fixing incident to the pastor Ray McCauley. So, with that, we come to the end of round number one. It's been a low scoring affair so far, but still four rounds to go and lots of room can be made up in the first edition of Trick IQ. So after a very exciting power play round of Trick IQ season three, Srinath, a topper from the power play in the online round, is leading with plus 20. Following him is Pradeep and Ken, and Madhusudan, Madhukrishna, and Ravi are yet to open their account with zero points. We'll move on to our next round, which is called DRS. DRS is a visual round. A visual of a cricketer would be shown. Participants have to identify the person for 10 points. If you were identified correctly, a statement about the person would be read out. And the participants have to answer whether it is true or not for 10 points. Two questions per participant, 10 seconds per question. So each participant can make up to a maximum of 40 points in this round. We'll start this round from Ravi. Ravi, your question coming up. Now, Ravi, visual on screen, identify this cricketer. Identify this cricketer playing in the 2015 World Cup. Time's up, time's up, Ravi. This is Grant Elliott from New Zealand. Tough one there, Ravi. Let's see if you can score 10 points on your next visual. Identify this cricketer. It's Gurinder Sandhu. Gurinder Sandhu is absolutely right. You open your account with 10 points. Your statement coming up. He made his ODI debut against England at the Sydney Cricket Ground. True or false? You have to answer true or false, Ravi? Yeah, yeah it's false. False is correct. You win yourselves 10 more points. Gurinder Sandhu actually made his debut against India at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. So 20 points for you, Ravi. Next participant we have is Pradeep. Your visual coming up on screen now. Pradeep, easy one, I think. Identify this bowler. Dhawal Kulkarni. Absolutely. Dhawal Kulkarni is a perfect answer. Your statement made his ODI debut in the ODI series in England in 2014. True or false? It's true. True, that's right. He made his debut against England at Birmingham. Pradeep, you also win yourselves 20 points. You can score 40 in this round. Let's take a look at the next visual. That tough one, I think. Identify this cricketer. Identify this wicketkeeper. Can't give you much more time. Time's up. South African wicketkeeper. Morne Van Beek. This is Morne Van Beek. Next participant we have is Srinath. Srinath, your visual coming up now. Identify the 
bowler who is okay. in the four rounder uh, uh, i'm going with sheldon cotrell right sheldon cotrell was a simple one 10 points your statement about sheldon cotrell made his debut in sachin tendulkar's 200th test match true or false uh, that's true that's false actually this was a tricky one he made his debut in sachin tendulkar's 199th test match which was played at the eden gardens in kolkata missing out on 10 points there uh, shrinath let's see your next visual should be simple identify this bowler very much in the news last year after rashio uh, times up going with pat comments not pat comments this is of course the australian bowler sean abbot who was in the news for the philip hughes death and he made a st stellar comeback by picking up six for nine in his next match after the comeback next we have madhusudan ramkrishnan madhu your visual coming up on screen now identify this bowler uh we go with ian bradshaw not ian bradshaw this is the west indies spinner nikita miller the oh. left arm spinner oh. your next visual coming up now identify the cricketer with vernon philander uh, that that would be wayne vernon Yes, that's Wayne Parnell. That's right. Ten points for you, Madhu. Your true and false statement coming up now. Wayne Parnell played in the 2010 Under-19 World Cup final and was captain of the losing side. True or false? Yes, that's true. That's false. That was a tricky one. Wayne Parnell actually captained South Africa. In the 2008 Under-19 World oh. Cup final, which is of course memorable for all the Indians because Virat yeah. Kohli led his team to victory. So Madhu, you get only 10 points. Last question or last two questions of this round go to Madhu Krishna Tipinani. Your first visual coming up now. Easy one. Identify this English bowler. Yes, Madhu Krishna. Can you be a little louder? Uh, Yes, Madhu. Sorry, your time's up. This is the Irish turned English bowler Boyd ranking. So, Madhu Krishna, your next question coming up now should be easy. Identify this bowler. Identify this bowler. Very much in the news. Times up, Madhu Krishna. This is the Pakistani bowler Sohail Khan, who took five wickets against India in the World Cup match. So with that, we come to the end of round number two. The scores are as follows: Shrinath leading with 30 points, tying with him is Pradeep, who's also on 30 points. Ravi is on 20. Madhusudan Ramakrishnan is on 10. Still yet to open his account is Madhu Krishna from Hyderabad. We'll move on to our next round, which is called Take the Challenge. In Take the Challenge, each participant has to challenge another participant on a particular topic chosen from a grid. Two questions per topic: one for the challenger and one for the challenged. Ten seconds to answer a question. Ten points per correct answer. The winner of a challenge gets a bonus of ten points. So if Madhu Krishna has challenged Madhu Sudan and Both of you have answered your respective questions on the topic correctly. You both get 10 points, but no bonus. But if one of you gets 10 points and the other gets zero, the person getting 10 points will get a bonus of 10 points. Each topic can only be chosen once. Each participant can only be challenged once. We'll start on the participant on the highest score, which is Shrinath. Shrinath, your topics coming up now. So your topics are. of aberrations and weird incidents in search of the urn the dawn west indies west indies versus india umpires of dates and years statistically speaking pakistan versus australia forgettable debuts you need to take a topic and choose an opponent to challenge on that particular topic uh, i'll go with umpires shrinath taking I'll, umpires and i'll challenge uh, madhu krishna Shrinath taking umpires and challenging Madhu Krishna. Yeah. Madhu Krishna, Tipinani, your question on umpires 
coming up. Who played 26 tests for England between 1976 and 1986 and had umpired in 25 test matches by the end of 2003? This is for Madhu Krishna. Mm. Is that Ian Gould? Much time. Ian Gould. Not Ian Gould. This is, of course, Peter Willey, the famous English umpire Peter Willey. Srinath, your chance to pick up 20 points. Your question: Which Worcestershire batsman lost an arm in the First World War, became an umpire, and stood in a then record 48 Test matches before retiring in 1953? Uh, okay, I'll, I'll have a wild guess at this. Okay. This would be Frank Chester. That's an incredible answer. That is Frank Chester. <laughs> Getting 20 points, Srinath. Fantastic answering. We'll move on to our next participant, uh, Pradeep, who's also on 30 points. Pradeep, pick a topic and chosen opponent to challenge on the topic. Umpires is already gone. I'll and go you can't the... challenge Madhu Krishna, of course. I'll go with that uh, weird incidents of aberrations and weird incidents for. Uh, I'll go with uh, uh, Madhu, the other Madhu. Madhu okay, Krishna. Madhu Sudan being challenged on <laughs> okay. aberrations and weird incidents. Why did the first match between England and the rest of the world in 1970, 1970 start on a Wednesday with a rest day on Thursday? Why did the first test match between England and the rest of the world in 1970 start on a Wednesday with a rest day on Thursday? Is that, uh, is that to do with uh, something to do with the football game, perhaps? Or? Nothing to do with the football game. I'm sorry. A general election was going on at that time. So, Pradeep, your question and your chance to pick up 20 points. Pradeep, your question coming up now. What yeah. happened on the rest day? on the second test match between Zimbabwe and New Zealand at Harare in 1992-1993. What happened on the rest day of the second test match between Zimbabwe and New Zealand at Harare in the season 1992-1993? This is for Pradeep, chance to pick up 20 points. Uh, played a one-day international? Absolutely, they played a one-day international. 20 points for Pradeep in roaring form. Next, we go to Ravi. Choose a topic and choose an opponent to challenge on the topic. Umpires and weird incidents is already gone. West Indies versus India. West Indies versus India. And you want to challenge whom? Mm. Madhu Krishna. Srinath, Pradeep, or Ravi? Okay, uh, Srinath, Srinath. Challenging Srinath on West Indies versus India is Ravi. Yeah, Srinath, your question. Who broke the world record for the most number of stumpings in Ravi Shastri's only match as test captain? A match where the debutant made a huge impact. Okay. Is, that, is that Kiran More? Yes, yeah. Kiran More, absolutely. 10 points. Uh, Ravi, now you need to match Srinath's answer to pick up 10 points and avoid a bonus point for Ravi. Your question, Ravi, who, less than a month after his 28th birthday, did a century against West Indies at Delhi in the 1978-79 cricket season? Yes, Ravi? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who did a century... Just a month after his 20th birthday. Engineer? Is it Farooq Engineer? Ravi can't give you too much more time. Is it Farooq Engineer? Not Farooq Engineer. Farooq Engineer was quite old by then. This is, of course, the great Indian all rounder couple day. So, Srinath is in great form in this round. He has picked up a total of 40 points in this round. Next, we'll move on to Madhu Krishnan Ramakrishnan, who needs to challenge either Pradeep or Ravi. Madhu Krishnan Ramakrishnan. What I'll topic take, do you choose and whom do you want to challenge? I'll take the dawn. I'll take the dawn on a challenge, Ravi. Taking the dawn on the challenge to Ravi. Uh, Ra Ravi, your question on the dawn. With whom did Bradman share a partnership of 451 
a test record at that time at the Oval in 1934. Is it Bill Ponsford? Yes, it is the great Australian batsman Bill Ponsford. You pick up 10 points. Madhusudan <coughs> Ramakrishnan, your question. Yeah. On which ground did Badman score nine test centuries and averaged 128, including a memorable knock of 270 batting at number seven? It's MCG. MCG, of course. Well done, Madhusudan. You win yourselves 10 points. That knock at the MCG batting from number seven was incidentally regarded, regarded as the greatest knock of all time by wisdom. Yeah. Well done, Madhusudan. You pick 10 points. Ravi, you also end up with 10 points. No bonus points in this set of questions. Last participant for this round is Madhu Krishna Tipineni. Madhu Krishna, choose a topic, and you have only Pradeep left to challenge. So you need to choose a topic for Pradeep. I'll go with of dates and years. Pradeep is being challenged on dates and years by Madhu Krishna Tipineni. Your question In which year did Don Bradman score? 974 runs in a five test series in England. This is for Pradeep. It's 1930. 1930. Well done. Good answering there from Pradeep. Your question, Madhu Krishna. In which year was Test Cricket's first triangular tournament played, which was a very significant year for world sport? Yes, Madhu Krishna. 1945. Not 1945, this is 1912, in which the Olympics was also played. In, in that, there was a tri series between Australia, England, and South Africa, the first tri test series. Right, with that, we come to the end of round number three. I'm sure some people have made some significant strides on the scoreboard. Leading, we have Srinath and Pradeep, both on 70 points. Ravi is on 30. Madhusudan has opened his account, he's on 20. Madhu Krishna still on zero. Two more rounds to go on this edition of Prick IQ. The rules on your screen. All questions will be based on famous moments from, from the World Cup. Three visuals will be shown to each participant and a question asked on each. Participants have to identify each for 10 points or answer the question correctly for 10 points. If they get all three answers correct, they get a bonus of 10 points by answering what is common between the visuals. Okay, so it's a direct question round as well as a connection round. We'll start with Madhu Krishna. Madhu Krishna, your visual coming up on screen now and listen to the question very carefully. Playing against which side did this cricketer win a man of the match award in the 2003 World Cup? Question to Madhu Krishna. Against which side did this cricketer? Of course, from Kenya, winner, man of the match award in the 2003 World Australia. Cup. Australia is right. Well done, Madhu Krishna. Your next visual coming up on screen now. Identify the Zimbabwe batsman. Time's up, Madhu Krishna. I need an answer now. Passing you. This is. Andy mm -hmm. Brignot, of course, from Zimbabwe. Your last visual coming up on screen now. Identify the venue of this match in the 2003 World Cup. Wanderers. It's not the Wanderers, unfortunately. That was where the finals were played. This was the New Zealand versus Australia encounter at Port Elizabeth. So, Madhu Krishna, you have opened your account in this round, actually. You have scored 10 points, but that might not be enough to do very well in this quiz because you're trailing a lot behind the leaders right now, Srinath and Pradeep. Yes, Madhu, your first question coming up now. Yeah. yeah. Your question? Identify the venue for this match. Easy one. Lahore. This is, of course, Lahore, the Gaddafi Stadium. 10 points to Madhusudan. Next question coming up on screen now. Which batsman has been dismissed in this visual? Vasti, Vajatullah Vasti. This is Vajatullah Vasti. Well done. That's a brilliant answer. Let's see if you can make it three out of three. Question for you. Which batsman hit a last ball six for the losing team in this match? Hisara Pereira. Hisara Pereira. Absolutely brilliant, Madhusudan. You have got 30 points. Chance to win 40. Last question for you. What connects all these three matches? 
I mean, connection could be very broad. I mean, what are you looking at? Something really specific. Something specific between these three matches. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know. Subcontinent team in the final. No, something more specific was what okay, I was chasing, looking chasing, for. Chasing, the chasing, connection is chasing, and subcontinent team was in the final in 2003 as well. The connection was chasing, these are the only three instances that a chasing side has won in a World Cup final. I just said that. <laughs> chasing it. So in 1999, of course, uh, Australia won chasing. In 2011, it was India. And before that, we had Sri Lanka winning in 1996. So well done, Madhu. You get yourself 30 points. You could have won yourself 40. Our next participant is Srinath. Your visual coming up on screen now. Set three, question one. Identify the venue at which this match was played. OK. Uh, go with Eden Gardens. This is not the Eden Gardens. This is. Firosha Kotla, in which a group no, match between yeah. India and Sri Lanka was played in the 1996 World Cup. Your next question coming up. Okay, this is for set three, question two. Who took a five wicket haul for England in this match? Your question Who took a five wicket haul for England in this match? Ajmal Shahzad. Not Ajmal Shahzad. This was. Tim Bresnan took a five wicket haul for England versus India at Bangalore. The last question coming up for you, Srinath. Right, your question Who hit the winning runs for South Africa in this match? Robin Peterson. Robin Peterson is a good answer. You win yourselves 10 points. We'll now move on to the last participant or the fourth participant of this round. That is Pradeep, all the way from the US. Your visual coming up on screen now. Right, your question. Which English bowler bowled the last ball in this match? Is Which it, English bowler bowled the last ball in this match? Luis. Uh, uh, yes, what's your answer? Luis. Luis is Lewis. absolutely right. Well done. Chris Lewis is what I was looking for. 10 points. Your next visual coming up on screen now. That's your question. Uh, who was the last batsman to be dismissed in this match? Should be simple. Last batsman to be dismissed in this match? Alan Donald. Alan, Alan Donald. Donald is perfect. 10 more points for you. Your chance to make it 3 out of 3. Your question coming up on screen now. Who scored an unbeaten 60 to steer his side to victory? In this match in the 2007 World Cup. Yes, Pradeep, have to rush you. Uh, Michael Clark. Michael Clark is a good guess, and that's absolutely correct. You get 30 out of 30. Your chance to win 40 points by answering the connection between all these three visuals. What connects all these three matches? Sorry, I have to rush you. Sorry, passing you. These are the three instances in which South Africa has lost a World Cup semi final. It is, of course, a memorable match between England and South Africa, the 1992 World Cup. Then we had an instance in the 1999 World Cup where they did not lose, but it was a tie. And by virtue of the group standings or the Super Six standings, South Africa went out in the semi final round. And then in 2007, South Africa suffered a convincing defeat to the Australians. Okay, but Pradeep, well done. You win yourselves 30 points in this round. Our last participant is Ravi. Ravi, your question coming up on stream now. Okay, who was man of the match in this encounter in the 2011 World Cup? That's your first question, Ravi. Your question, who was man of the match in this encounter? Can't give you more time, Ravi. Yuvraj Singh. Yuvraj Singh is right. 10 points. Ravi, your question, at which venue was this match played? This is Bangalore, Chinnaswamy Stadium. This is Bangalore. 10 points for you, Ravi. Your next question coming up on screen now. OK. Who batted at number three for India in this match? This is for Ravi. Uh, 
Ravi can't give you more time. Passing you. The answer is Virat Kohli batted for India at number three in this match. India opened with Tendulkar and Gambhir in this match against the West Indies. Ravi, you win yourselves 20 points. You don't get a chance to that 40 by answering the connection, of course, because you got only two out of three correct. Let's have a look at the scores after round number four. So after the fourth round of the first hangout at Trick IQ Season 3, here are the scores. Pradeep has scored a century and is leading with 100 points. Next, we have Srinath, our power play topper, on 80. Coming in at 50 points is Madhusudan and Ravi and Madhukrishna. Not a good day for you so far, only on 10 points. So we will have the last round now, which is called Slog Overs. Maximum of 50 points per participant can be made up in this round. And these are the rules. Each participant will be asked questions on a topic of their choice chosen from a grid. 50 seconds to answer as many questions correctly as they can. Five points for each correct answer. Participant on the lowest score gets first choice. Yeah. We'll have the look at the top eights on view. Yeah. Let's see the list of topics. Yeah. 1975 World Cup, 1979 World Cup, ICC World T20 2007, India versus England 2014, Caribbean Premier League, IPL 2014, Life and Times of BVS Lakshman, Life and Times of Imran Khan, Men in Charge, which refers to administrators and owners. Madhu Krishna, you're on the lowest score. You get first choice. What's your choice of topic? Yes, Madhu, what's your choice of topic? Uh, 1975 World Cup. 1975 World Cup is your choice, an interesting one. So Madhu Krishna, your 60 seconds starting now. Who was the title sponsor of the 1975 Cricket World Cup? Prudential. Prudential is right. How many test playing nations played in the 1975 World Cup? How many test playing nations? Six. Six is right. How many overs in total were bowled in the first ever World Cup match? 60 overs. I asked in total. Okay, uh, uh, 120 overs. 120 is right. I'll give it that to you. How many subcontinent teams were in the semi-finals of the 1975 World Cup? One. That's wrong. Which two teams qualified for the semi-finals by winning all their group matches in the 1975 World Cup? England and West Indies. That's right. Which was the first team to concede more than 300 runs in a World Cup match? Sorry, time's up. So, Madhu Krishna, you have done reasonably well in this round. You have got four out of the six questions you answered correct. You get yourselves 20 points. Next, we go to Madhu Krishnan, Ramakrishnan, and your choice of topic is? I'll go with the 79 World Cup. 79 World Cup for Madhu Krishnan, Ramakrishnan. Let's see if your statistics knowledge helps you out in this round. Your first question coming up now. Who was the highest scorer in the 1979 World Cup final? Richards. Richards is right. How many matches were played in the 1979 World Cup? How many matches? Okay, pass. Passing. Which subcontinent team won no matches in the 1979 World Cup? India, India, India. Right. Which teams finished with an which team finished with an all-win record in the group stage of the 1979 World Cup? The West Indies. That's wrong. Which semi-finalist from the 1979 World Cup, 1975 World Cup, went out in the group stage of the 1979 World Cup? That would be New Zealand. That's wrong. Who scored the first hundred in the 1979 World Cup? Gordon Greenwich. That's right. Which wicketkeeper made his ODI debut for India in the 1979 World Cup? Engineer. Can you repeat that answer? Farooq Engineer. No, that's strong. Whom did England beat by nine runs in the semi-final of the 1979 World Australia. Cup? Australia. Not Australia. So you get, get yourselves only 15 points in this round, Madhusudan. Our next participant is going to be Ravi. Ravi, what's your choice of topic? Ravi, your choice of topic? 20, uh, 2007. Okay, your topic is ICC World T20 2007. Your first question coming up now. How many teams took part in the ICC World T20 2007? 12, 12. right? Who hit 10 sixes in an innings 
in the first match of the ICC World T20 2007? Is it Chris Is right? Which side finished second in Group A behind or ahead of West Indies in ICC World T20 2007? South Africa? Not South Africa. Who was man of the match in Zimbabwe's victory over Australia in ICC World T20 2007? Is it Chigumbura? Not Chigumbura. Who was the only side to beat India in ICC World T20 2007? Scotty, your time's up. Uh, the side to beat India in the 2007 T20 World Cup was New Zealand, who beat India in a Super 8 match. 12 teams took part in the inaugural T20 World Cup. Chris Gale, of course, was the first ever T20 World Cup century and also hit 10 sixes in that match against South Africa. Bangladesh finished second in Group A behind uh, South Africa, but ahead of the much fancied West Indies team. Man of the match in Zimbabwe's victory over Australia in the ICC World T20 2007 was, of course, the wicketkeeper, Brendan Taylor. So, Ravi, you get yourselves only 10 points in this round. Next, we move on to Srinath, who's in second place. Your last chance to catch up with our leader, Pradeep Srinath. You have six topics to choose from, Srinath, and it's your last chance to catch up with our leader, Pradeep. So, what's your choice of topic, Srinath? Uh, I'm going with uh, life and times of Vivius Lakshman. Life and Times of BVS Lakshman. Interesting choice. Life and Times of BVS Lakshman. Coming up for Srinath. Your first question starts now. Against which team did BVS Lakshman made his test debut? So, uh, South Africa. South Africa is right. For which side did BVS Lakshman play his last IPL match? Uh, Kochi Tuskers Kerala. Right. At which round did BVS Lakshman hit a memorable 167 in a test match against Sydney. Australia in early? Sydney is right. How many double centuries has BVS Lakshman scored in Test cricket? Is it three? That's wrong. With whom did BVS Lakshman share a 353 run partnership against Australia at SCG in 2004? Sachin Tendulkar. Right. At which test round has BVS Lakshman recorded three 150 plus scores? Calcutta, Eden Gardens. Right. Who dismissed BVS Lakshman in his epic innings of 281 at the Eden Gardens? Uh, Jason Gillespie. And then which side did BVS Lakshman record his final test century? Jason Gillespie was wrong. Final, final test century against West Indies. Yeah, that's right. Well done, uh, Srinath. I think you have got six correct. Let's have a look at the answers. He made his test debut against South Africa, of course. He played his last IPL match for Kochi Tuskers Kerala. He hit a memorable 167 at the Sydney Cricket Ground. He has scored two centuries or two double centuries in Test match cricket, both against Australia. With whom did Vivian Stuckman share a 353 run partnership? That was, of course, Sachin Tendulkar. At which Test round that Vivian Stuckman scored three 150 plus scores? That was, of course, his favorite venue, the Eden Gardens in Kolkata. He recorded his final test century against the West Indies, and Glenn McGrath actually dismissed him during his innings of 281. So, so it could be a case of Sonia yet so far for Srinath, who's got 30 points in this round. Still, Pradeep has to make three correct answers in his last round to win this quiz and take that step towards the Mecca of Cricket Lords. Pradeep, your choice of topic, please. I'll go with uh, IPL 2014. IPL 2014. And Pradeep, your time starts now. Which nation hosted the first 20 matches of IPL 2014? UAE. UAE is right. Who was the top wicket taker in IPL 2014? Mo Mo Mohit Sharma. Right. Who was appointed as the chief team mentor of the Rajasthan Royals in IPL 2014? Rahul Dravid. Right. Which team topped the preliminary stage in IPL 2014 with 22 points? It's Chennai. That's wrong. Who scored a lightning 95 of just 43 balls for Kings 11 Punjab in the third match of IPL 2014? It's uh, Saha. Not Who played his 100th IPL match during CSK's match against Kings 11 Punjab played at Abu Dhabi? It's Raina. That's right. 
which side was bowled out for just 70 by the Rajasthan Royals in a group match in IPL 2014? Pass. Passing. Who was the only batsman to hit 100 during the preliminary stage of IPL 2014? Sorry, your time's up. I think, One. Pradeep. You have got just the amount of answers that you require to win the quiz correct. You get yeah. yourselves 20 points by getting four answers correct in the final round of Trick IQ, the first hangout, and you win this quiz, incidentally. Your answers again, the first 20 matches of IPL 2014 was hosted by UAE. The top wicket taker in IPL 2014 was Mohit Sharma, the chief team mentor of the Rajasthan Royals in IPL 2014 was Rahul Dravid. King Sylvan Punjab topped the group stage or the preliminary stage of IPL 2014 with 22 points. The Lightning 95 of just 43 balls was scored by Glenn Maxwell. The 100th IPL match, the CSK player was of course Suresh Raina. Royal Challengers Bangalore were bowled out for just 70 at Abu Dhabi. And Lendl Simmons was the first batsman to hit 100 in IPL 2014. Also the only batsman to record 100 during the preliminary stage of IPL 2014. So at the end of the final round of the first hangout at Trick IQ Season 3, it's been a really high scoring episode. Pradeep wins the quiz with 120 points and takes the first step towards Lords. Close behind was Srinath, put on a brave fight with 110 points. We have Ravi who scored 60 points, Madhusudan on 65 and Madhu Krishna on 30 points. So Pradeep, congratulations. We'll see you in the finals of Cricket Active Season 3. Commiserations to all the other participants. Hope you all enjoyed yourselves and we'll see you later at Cricket Active for the second hangout of Cricket Active Season 3 powered by Geoni. Thank you very much.